Good morning, Bulldogs. Today is Tuesday, 6, 2024. The quote of the day is, Greatness is not measured by what a man or woman accomplishes, but by the opposition he or she has overcome to reach his goals. Dorothy I. Height. Dorothy Irene Height, Black History Month. Dorothy Irene Height was an African-American civil rights and women's rights activist. She focused on the issues of African-American women, including unemployment, illiteracy, and voter awareness. Height is credited as the first leader in the civil rights movement to recognize inequality for women and African-Americans as problems that should be considered as a whole. She was the president of the, Na of the National Council of Negro Women for 40 years. Dorothy Height is recognized as one of the most influential women in the modern civil rights movement. What is Dorothy I. Height known for? Dorothy Height began her efforts as a civil rights activist at the age of 25 when she joined the National Council of Negro Women. Throughout her life, she fought for equal rights for both African Americans and women. During the 1930s, she was an activist against lynching and for reforms to the criminal justice system. Please rise for the pledge. Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Happy birthday to Evan. Don't forget to stop by the office to pick out your birthday pencil. Today, February 6th, is Safer Internet Day. This is a day that countries around the world set aside to highlight the importance of learning how to use the internet safely. Here at SMS, we would like to highlight the importance of our digital footprint. The idea of, you know, posting and having a lot of people see it can definitely be kind of scary. You know, if you're a teenager, you're going to make bad decisions sometimes. They can screenshot it, they can do so many things to save that, and they can edit it in ways that you won't want them to. Whether or not you think it'll go away, it's there. Anything you post online, you're stuck with. Oversharing to me is putting too much of your personal life in front of a, a wide audience of people. Posting something for the sake of showing that you're there and maybe not because you're actually having that great of a time. Posting about things that people don't necessarily think are significant, but they're just kind of posting to be posting. What you share and how often you share is going to affect the way that somebody views you. Just because I'm gonna post all the time, that doesn't mean that you're gonna get all the attention. That doesn't mean that everybody's gonna like you. For example, people have like Finstas where they, or spam accounts where they just like post random stuff and sometimes they get too personal with what, uh, with what they're talking about on there. Things that are meant to be texted one-to-one, -one, people tend to post online so 50 other people can see their plans for tomorrow or the next weekend. You could be doing something like that could potentially endanger yourself by making your account public and saying too much about where you live or who you are. When I'm in like a cool location and I want to show everybody where I am, but most of the time I'll just tag where I am on like a Snapchat story so people can know. So once you put something online, it can be there forever because people might take screenshots, they might record it, they might save it. I don't think I don't think people don't realize that it's going to be there forever. I think they just don't care. A lot of people have this mentality of like, what I'm doing is very insignificant. Why is anyone going to care about this? You should be cautious of what you post. You don't post your pictures and think like, okay, Nobody, nobody seeing me, nobody screenshotting me, nobody doing nothing, because people doing that, you just not gonna know. Uh, your Snapchats, despite the fact that they only last, I don't know, four to eight seconds, they're still there. Your Instagram stories that go away after 24 hours, they're still there. Anything that is posted, anything that's up, no matter what happens, even if you leave it up for a minute and take it down, it's there as, as soon as you put it up there. No one's going to scrutinize everything that you say the same way that you might. You are not obliged to post every second of your life in order to please um, what you might seem as the majority of people. So when you feel like you have to post all the time, when you feel like you have to do this in order to get fame and attention, you don't. It's not your job. 
that's something you always have to be thinking about. Um, what do you want people to remember you on social media as? Also students, check your grade level Google Classroom for a set of activities that you can complete this week to be entered into a prize drawing. Student Council presents the Valentine's Day Dance. It will be on February 9th from 7 to 9 p.m. Tickets are $5 each and tickets will be drop and go. Students can drop off their dance permission slips in room 509. Permission slips will be accepted until February 6th. Hope to see you there for music, food, and fun. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and see you next time.